So I've been on YouTube now for almost three years and there's a certain set of comments that I've gotten throughout my entire time on the platform from literally the first month being on YouTube and releasing those first set of videos to literally this week. These comments have always been asked from the beginning all the way up till recently. So it's in regards to wholesale suppliers and Amazon being on every listing. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video so I can help you overcome that problem. Hey, what's going on guys, Marvin here. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing, pushing that like button because it really does help the channel grow and turn your post notifications on so you guys don't miss any of my future videos if you guys wanna learn how to make money with Amazon Wholesale. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. So like I said, these comments are nothing new. I've been getting these comments literally since my first set of videos up until just a couple of days ago, okay? Same comment which we're gonna go over. But they're clearly nothing new. And throughout this entire time where people have asked me these same set of questions, I've helped many, many, many different students from different walks of life, from different parts of the country, create incredibly successful businesses. And you can do the exact same thing if you get out of your own way. So the first comment that we're gonna um, address is Amazon being on every listing. And it's very funny that I get this question or I get this comment because it's always in an absolute. People always ask this or, or comment this in an absolute. Amazon is on every listing, which is clearly not the case whatsoever. If Amazon was on every listing, then how would third-party sellers be selling more products than Amazon themselves on their own platform? Amazon is on a large amount of listings, Granted, it's their platform. Why wouldn't they be making money selling on their own website, on their own platform, right? We are third-party sellers that we can ride the coattails of Amazon and create an incredible business based off of what they built. But I feel like a lot of people have this sense of why is Amazon on every listing? Why are they even on the platform? Which is uh, just crazy to me. But Amazon is clearly not on every single listing or else nobody would be selling on the platform in any format, in, in private label, in retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale dropshipping, nobody would be selling on the platform whatsoever if that was the case. And I found this article, so to put it in perspective, Amazon sells more than 12 million products on the platform, which doesn't include books, media, and wine. If we, let's say, add up every single product that they sell on the platform, including books, media, and wine, let's say they sell 25, 30 million different products, right? But once we factor in Amazon Marketplace sellers, which is third-party sellers like ourselves, then and the total product counts sold on the platform go from 12 million, or if we, let's say, just bundle them all up together, 25, 30 million from Amazon's part, it balloons up to 353 million different products. So clearly there's more than enough products to choose from to sell on the platform. So it all comes down to where you're looking. Are you looking at the biggest brands with the most notoriety, selling the fastest products, and you're clicking on every single one of those products and seeing that Amazon is on those listings? Well, in that case, yeah, they're gonna be selling a lot of those. Like, let's say they're, you're trying to sell Hasbro, and you're trying to sell the best selling products with Hasbro that include Marvel, right? Very, very fast moving products. Yeah, Amazon's gonna be on a lot of those, right? But let's say you look into some of the slower selling Hasbro products that Amazon isn't really interested in. They may not be on, right? And I know the, the stat was, I think it was like 40% that Amazon was on, on the listings, so on like 40% of the listings. But let's let's chalk it up to 50% of the listings Amazon is on. That still leaves millions upon millions upon millions of products that you can source from. And of those, let's say half of those listings that Amazon is on, a lot of those listings, Amazon will also share the buy box if you know how to look for it. And if you know how to evaluate the data. For me, this comment, and this goes to anybody who's ever asked me, right? Regardless if you um, work a little bit more closely with me or not, this is a mindset issue. You need to get out of your own way, right? This isn't a, hey, you know, we'll, we'll kind of dance around and, and we'll try to find you some products. This is a complete mindset issue. You're trying to start this business, but you're running into a roadblock and you're telling yourself an absolute about this business. You're telling yourself, Amazon is on every listing, which is going to reduce your motivation and reduce your ambition to find those profitable products. Obviously, they are not on every single listing. What, not even close, okay? They are not on every single listing. Like I said, I've been getting these questions or these comments since my first set of videos. And throughout that entire time, some people really believe that, believe that to their core that they gave up. A lot of my students who didn't created businesses doing 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month, selling on the same platform, doing the exact same business model 
right? So it comes down to a mindset issue. I think you need to overcome that, right? If you're going to just move past this, but you need to understand, depends on where you're searching from and just, just step back and look, look at all the people that have created this business before you, right? Or at the same time, or maybe you guys started the journey at the same time and they've created a successful business and you haven't. So many things come down to mindset. And um, I think that's such a huge, huge, portion of business and just making money online or just having success in your life in general is just mindset. And a lot of people just push that off to the side, like, ah, they're just talking about mindset, but that, that's not the case. That's probably the most important thing that you can work on. But regardless, more practical sense, don't search for the biggest brands or the fastest sellers, right? The, the, the sales ranks that are like sub 100 or sub 20 in a very, very fast moving category. Yeah. Amazon's probably going to be on that listing. So you need to move on. I'm not telling you to don't look for fast sellers, but if you're looking for the fastest sellers on the platform with the most notarized or the most recognizable brands, yeah, chances are Amazon's going to be on those products. So you just have to adjust your search. And this isn't going to come overnight, guys. This isn't going to come, you know, your, your first 10 minutes or your first hour of searching and all the products that you're searching, because depending on where you're searching, all those products on that page, Amazon is selling you. You've been searching for a whole hour. How, how have you not found products that are going to make you hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month? You know, it doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen in your first 10 minutes and it doesn't happen in your first hour. It's going to take some time, which we're going to get into at the end of this video. All right. So the next comment that I get is people have searched for suppliers. They have searched for suppliers and they haven't found a profitable supplier. Again, guys, if you're into Amazon wholesale for any length of time, I'm sure you guys have heard this. That there are no, no wholesale supplier wants to work with so-and-so person or they've contacted so many suppliers and um, they haven't been able to find one that has any profitable products whatsoever. I do want to say this. I've gotten this comment the entire time that I've been on YouTube. So almost three years, I've gotten this exact comment, right? People saying, Oh, I've, I haven't found any profitable suppliers. I think I made a video about it um, a couple months ago. And so most people say, you know, five, I'm like, I always ask them the same thing. How many have you contacted? How long have you actually been searching? And most of the time it's five. I contacted five, I contacted 10, have contacted 20. The highest I've ever gotten. And it was one time was 50. I contacted 50 in a span of however many months. Right. That was the highest. And then I made a video saying that I recommend everyone search 50 to 75 to hundred suppliers every single week. Since I made the video, every time I get asked this question, it's people saying I've contacted 50. I've contacted 50 every single day for three to six months, which would be thousands and thousands and thousands of suppliers, which it's, it's not the case guys. Like you have to be honest with yourself uh, because if we do the math and if you contact, let's say 50 to hundred suppliers, um, every single day for three months, you're contacting over 3000 suppliers. You're contacting 50 suppliers every single day. That's going to be damn near impossible for you to do yourself. So at first, and if you're just starting out, you are doing it by yourself. Chances are you're doing all of this by yourself. The chance of you contacting 50 suppliers every single day for three months is very, very unlikely. So the first part is you have to be honest with yourself. How many suppliers have you actually contacted? How many suppliers have you actually signed up with? How many suppliers have you actually made a decent attempt at building a relationship past just getting their list, scanning it, spending two minutes on it, seeing that there's nothing profitable and moving on. Like how many, how many times have you done that? Because if you have contacted a high volume of suppliers, I guarantee you, you've missed some or some have fell through the cracks that were probably very profitable or had a lot of potential. It just took a little bit of time. Then just sign up for a wholesale account. Hey, can I have your inventory list? Thank you. Search it, never contact them again, move on. You're not gonna get anywhere like that, right? I have, I show you different tactics and different ways to negotiate, but that's not the way you're going to win. You need to slow down, slow down, look at everything, watch some of my videos, watch one of my most recent videos, which I'll put up right here. It's going to tell you um, a lot of the same things that I do in my business to increase the profitability of those lists that you get from the suppliers. There's a great example that I talk about in their story of how it took me an entire year for one supplier that was, eh, it was, wasn't great, but I, I saw a lot of potential in them and they ended up becoming my best, most profitable supplier a year down the road, right? So this takes time. This isn't overnight. And that's what a lot of people want, but it starts with you being honest with yourself. How many suppliers are you actually contacting? How many suppliers are you actually taking your time with trying to build some sort of rapport, trying to build some sort of relationship, trying to 
source some products even if they aren't 50 percent profit margin or 30 percent profit margin like everybody wants right off the bat you have to slow down take your time and because if you have contact a high amount of um, suppliers I guarantee you some fell through the cracks and you missed some potential great suppliers because you're just moving way too fast numbers reps and consistency is how you're going to find success not only in this business but any business that you try in many many aspects of life the person that tries to go and lose 50 pounds and diets for three days super super strict that yet eats shit for the next four days of the week and doesn't exercise the rest of the time they're not going to get great results compared to the person that eats you know decent healthy 90 percent whole foods and exercises consistently throughout that in time, they're clearly gonna have better results, right? A person who has a business that closes people over the phone. You think they call 10 people and they close 10 people? If you're selling a product over the phone, you get them on the phone, you, you have to close them right there on the spot. They contact 10 people. You think they contact 10 people, close 10 people, and call it a day? No, it doesn't work like that. They call hundreds of people and they close a handful of people. And that's how it is, right? They put a lot of reps in, a lot of reps in. If you go to the gym, and you wanna get bigger, you wanna get stronger. Do you do three reps a week or do you do 300 reps a week? More reps, numbers, consistency is how you're going to find success, not only in this business, but any business that you try in so many different aspects of life. And it's the exact same thing with this business. I think people think that because this business has a course around it, you know, not just mine, but other people that have courses around it or because it's online and, and you see these different success stories that you're gonna get it right away. And that's not the case. That's not going to happen. You're not going to become an overnight success right? It's not going to happen. That's not how things work. You have to put the work in. And that's what so many people don't want to do is that they see that they're not getting results. So they get discouraged. And I'm not trying to put anybody on the spot. I'm just telling you how it is. You have to put the work in. Okay. Numbers, reps, consistency. And I guarantee you that will take you so far, not only in your Amazon wholesale business, but in anything that you try. Hopefully you guys found this valuable. Uh, hopefully I wasn't too intense um, with this video, but I, like I said, I've been getting these comments for three years now. And from now on, anybody who sends me those kinds of comments, I'm just gonna send you this video because uh, I think this video will really help you. This isn't a video to bash anybody or put anybody down. This is a video to genuinely help you. I genuinely want to help people succeed. That's why I have this YouTube channel. That's why I make these videos. That's why I'm constantly thinking of different ideas that I could bring to uh, this platform and to my channel that's going to help everyone, everyone who's watching, because I genuinely want to help you succeed. And sometimes that comes in the form of tactics and strategies and try this, try this, try this, tweak this here, adjust this here. And sometimes it just comes down to a cold, hard truth of how things really operate. All right, guys. But with that being said, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you guys did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you guys haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in the next video.